Okay, here in the third scenario I have, I changed things up a bit, so bear with me. You're probably wondering, oh, no, I'll never figure it out. <sighs> probably dying with all the different port costs and priority and MAC addresses and <laughs> bridge IDs, but don't worry. By now, you should have everything down pat, so you should know, watch all the previous videos on the Spanish Tree Protocol. Um, little by little, I explain it, how all the tiebreakers work. And then I have the scenario one, which is pretty easy. Then scenario two would make it a little harder. And this is the hardest yet. So let's uh, start at the very beginning. So let's go through the motions. I'm not going to explain everything. You should know all the different pieces by now. So let's find the root bridge. So who has the lowest bridge ID? Well, by default, all switches are 32768, the priority. And then we have the MAC address. So... This is 32768, 32768, and we have 24576 for the bridge priority. So this wins. Da -da -da. So twi becomes the root bridge. So let's go ahead and make all those ports the designated ports on the root bridge here. So designated, designated. We got designated and we got designated so uh, let's just focus on one switch at a time so let's find all the root ports isn't too bad so let's go ahead and look at let's look at derp so if we look at derp um, the cost to the root bridge here it adds a cost of 19 here it adds a cost of 19 Right, so the root bridge sends the BPDU cost of zero, cost of zero, adds 19. So both are 19. And if we look at the other way around too, this sends cost of zero, this port, this costs zero. And then this flutter switch adds a cost of 20 because I changed it, this port. And then if when, when flutter sends out BPDUs out here, and this port and this port, this derp adds a cost of here, um, 19 and 19 by default. This is all across the internet, but it can be kind of hairy to see all that. So we're going to work our way backwards and we're going to try and find the lowest cost to the root bridge using all the different paths, all the combinations. So we'll go backwards a little bit. So dirt, we had cost of 19 here, cost of 19 here. As we go out to this switch, I'm going to switch here, both ports. 19 and 19 and then we go out flutter and either port is 20 so to get to the root bridge from derp it's going to give us a cost of 19 plus 20 so that's a much higher number the cost than just going out these ports one and two right so we're trying to find the lowest cost to the root bridge using all the different paths possible. We're trying to whittle our way the lowest cost. So um, the lowest cost to the root bridge is out these two ports, obviously you can see. So what we need to do is the next tiebreaker is the bridge ID, the neighbor bridge ID. Well, both of these ports go to the same bridge, so that doesn't work. That's that's a tiebreaker. So the next one is the port priority. By default, they're 128. So this is 128, but we set this to 64. So this link number four on Twi wins. So on the derp hex, let me go ahead. Number one becomes the root port. Ta-da! We whittle our way down. So now let's focus on Flutter. So if we go back to her, we go back to her, um, let me get my paintbrush, and we see twice as a BPDU, and this port 4 adds 20, this port 4 adds 20, and if we think about it, this does the same thing out this way. And this port does the same thing out this way. So this adds 19, 19. Uh, we know that the, the, the root port here, the cost of 
19 to get to the root bridge. We found the root port. So, and then it gets a little weird working our way. What it, what does it send down here? So let's work our way backwards. That's why it's a little easier. So this is why in harder topologies, I like to do it a little differently. So here, um, I set the port cost to one, port one. So uh, we start with one to get to dirt. And then how do we get to the root bridge? Well, there are two possible ways. Both are a cost of 19. So that would be 20 total to get all the way to here. Either port would be 20. Doesn't matter. So if we look at port two, this is a cost of 19 here. So we go to dirt. And either way we go out these ports, it's going to be 19. So it'd be 38. So this is a cost of 20 to get to the root bridge. This is a cost of 38. And this is, I set a cost of 20. I set a cost of 20 here. So there are three ports that tie. This port ties at 20. This port uh, ties at 20. And this port ties at 20. So we've got three ports that can go to the root bridge um, that are all 20, the lowest cost. So we have a problem. So the next is who has the lowest bridge ID? So between Flutter and Derp and, and Flutter and Twy, between these two switches, right? We're going out this way, or we can go out this way. Who has the lowest bridge ID? Well, if you look at it, um, you'll notice that zero is less than four. So then you're thinking, oh, sweet, derp wins. So then this is the root port goes out this way. Nope, not so fast. If, if you think about it, the bridge ID is made up of the priority and the MAC address. And this has the lowest bridge priority, 24,576. So this path out these two ports um, wins. But the problem is we have two ports. So we whittled it down from three ports to two. So it's out this direction some way for Flutter. So the next tiebreaker between these two ports, three and four in Flutter, um, is the neighbor neighbor port priority. And these are both 128. I didn't send it. Unlike this one, I set to 64. So that doesn't work. And the last tiebreaker in the protocol would be the lowest neighbor port number. So six is less than seven. So this side wins. So since this wins here, erase all of this. Um, next. This port three on Flutter becomes the root port. I know, crazy, right? <laughs> There's a lot involved. So now that we found all the root ports for all the switches, um, let's find the designated ports between all the links. So let's look at to do to my brush. Let's look at the links between here and flutter so the very first step is who has the lowest cost to the root bridge let's see so if we look at derp it has a cost of 19 and flutter has a cost to the root bridge of 20 so since this is lower here derp this side is lower then this this side wins for these ports here, for these two. We can focus we can focus one at a time. Like let's just look at this link here. But the thing is, uh, we can do it for both ports. It works out that way because if we start the protocol again at the beginning for these two ports, this side wins also. On the derp side, so. These both become designated. Designated, designated. And that is about it. So once you find the root ports and the designated ports for each link, all 
others become in an alternate block state. So all you have to do, this is alternate blocked here. This is alternate blocked, port 2 in Flutter. Port 4 in Flutter is alternate blocked too. And port 2 on derp is an alternate block state. See? So that wasn't so bad. So we found the root ports, the designated ports, and the alternate block ports in this somewhat convoluted um, setup I have here. So as long as you understand and got it down to a T, the tiebreakers for each um, port role, you'll always be able to find um, all the roles. Now keep in mind, everything is centered around the root of the cost, the lowest cost path to the root bridge. So you may need to work yourself backwards in more complicated setups. So you may need to add a cost right here. I may have said to one, goes out to derp, and then um, through derp, to get to the root bridge, this is 19 and this is 19. So you want to whittle your way down all possible combinations to the root bridge out each port. So you do the same for this. This is by default 19, goes to derp, and then derp adds another 19, 19, either way you look at it. So then this port is 38, number two. And then, um, like I mentioned before, uh, these are manually set to 20 and 20. So if you go out here right away, you reach the root bridge. So everything is centered around cost. What's the lowest cost? And that makes sense because if you watch the, the previous videos in the very beginning, um, the lower the cost, the faster the link is. So you always want to choose the port with the, the most bandwidth, really. That's what it's centered around. So I hope this was helpful, and thank you for watching.